mind. When we think about tech businesses, we think about California and Silicon Valley. But over the years, Madison's become a Midwestern hotspot for up-and-coming tech startups. NBC15's Zach Nugent explains why the city has appeal in this booming industry. A decade ago, the story on Madison was it was a boomerang town. What we would say is you came to go to school here, then you left got your, you know, built your business chops or your, you know, somewhere else, and then you came back here when you wanted to start a family because it was a great place to raise a family. But oh, how things have changed. More and more, Madison is becoming a hub for technology companies like Drifty. I actually co-founded the company with uh, Ben, one of my best friends since kindergarten. Drifty took shape in 2012. So we started... Uh, we had no office. Today, they just finished raising a million dollars. The company is focused on one project. It's called Ionic and simplifies how mobile apps and websites can be built. Right now, mobile development is kind of still like you have to be kind of a, a low level developer. Like you have to be a very strong developer to build mobile apps. So we want to change that. More than 300,000 apps have been designed with it worldwide. Just down the road, Herblue has been developing mobile games since 2008. Its latest release, Titan Empires, had a million downloads in a matter of weeks. You know, that was definitely one of the things that was a lot different from our earlier games where, you know, Parallel Kingdom took over three years to reach uh, the, the million player mark and it took us three weeks with Titan Empires. Started by undergrads on campus, Herblue now has a full-fledged office with 23 full-time employees. Is it for the most part kind of a younger crew that you're working with? Um, yep, a little bit younger side, so I think the average age is about 30 years old. Um, so, you know, we definitely have a lot of folks that are either right out of school or a couple years out of school. We want to be a place where not just where people are known for using state-of-the-art technology, but where people are known for developing state-of-the-art technology. Zach Brandon, president of the Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce, explains Madison has the talent and the resources, and the young tech industry has been taking note. The next generation is, is thinking about quality of life, is thinking about um, they're choosing location first and job second, which is, you know, their parents didn't make those decisions. Especially early on, you know, we had contemplated early on about, you know, locating up to San Francisco or California because that's what you do as a startup, right? Um, but, uh, no, we actually really liked Madison as far as, you know, the lifestyle that the city goes. Over time, though, I think it's kind of become a source of pride for us. Like, we've always been a little bit different, and I love that a lot of our competitors are in the Valley and kind of have to play that game, and we don't. That was NBC 15 Zach Nugent reporting. And although based in Madison, both Drifty and Purblue have an international presence. In fact, Drifty's Ionic is one of the top 50 most popular open source projects in the world. And Ben has been listed as one of this year's 30 brightest stars under 30 years old in Forbes magazine. Exciting to see the things it happening is. in our community. A lot of stuff going on that's very cool that I don't fully understand, but right. I'm glad it's happening here. Very true. <laughs>